Listening to customers is all about making sure you have the right North Star, you have the right direction you're pushing so hard into. Since 2005, the Satarja Center for Entrepreneurship and Technology at UC Berkeley has inspired entrepreneurs and innovators to positively change the world. Its acclaimed Berkeley method of instruction takes students on a journey to leverage proven frameworks, build their networks and ecosystem, and shift toward a growth mindset. There's a lot of value to being really good in your technical capability. But there's another type of value or another type of skill, if you want. Um, it's really more behavioral and it's more about the way that you see the world, the way that you think, kind of what you're, the programming is in you how you're able to listen to other people. And sometimes it's like to ask someone something which you think is very uncomfortable and that stretches your, your comfort zone. I am a professor at Berkeley where I do research and teaching in artificial intelligence and robotics. At Covariant, our mission is to build the next generation of AI-powered robots. Robots that can see, react to what they see, learn, from what they see and then do the right thing. I think it's a big part of starting a company is knowing that you're not gonna know exactly what you should be doing and constantly be iterating. Having this mindset that you're constantly learning. We make a lot of progress, we move fast, but that doesn't mean every day goes the way we hope it will go. And it, it's different when you're in it together and you have each other and push each other through it. It's key to you know listening and empowering everybody around you. People will then be coming up to you and asking help and you can help them be more productive. You're learning as you try to build something in technological advance, but also you're constantly learning from your customers. So you want to talk with your potential customers initially, then actual customers and realize that, you know, they, they have often a very different view on things than you have. And it might take a longer conversation than you expect to get on the same wavelength to really understand what they need and understand how it matches with what you can build. But I think there's just no substitute for that, that, that willingness to, to go out and, and listen and, and learn from that. Don't, don't just do literally what, what they ask you to do, but listen to it carefully, interpret it, think it through. That's essentially making sure you're working in the right direction. There are frameworks that help, better, help you better understand a problem, help better engage with your potential customers to get better information. It's pretty easy to go talk to customers in a consumer um, company. But if you have a deep tech company that say is for government, right, for, for the military, you only have maybe three or four customers. And so you have to construct the system differently. Because if you decouple these and you just take a, something a customer says they want, and you just say, here's a spec, build this, not knowing how feasible or infeasible it is to build certain things, now your team might be the best builders in the world. It might take them forever to build because you gave them a spec of something that just takes a really long time to build no matter how good you are. Having that skill to identify that requires both customer understanding and understanding what it means for something to be quick and easy to build. Everybody who starts a company will work hard, will you know, push very hard, but if you're pushing hard in the wrong direction, it's not gonna give you any traction.